Here's how you're going to start doing Pilates in 2022. If we've not met before, hi, I'm Margaret. I'm a certified Pilates instructor living in Colorado. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to start doing Pilates. We'll touch on what Pilates is, who Pilates is for, why I do Pilates, my own personal Pilates routine, and how I can help you to start doing Pilates this year. So what is Pilates? The simplest answer that I can give you is that it's a low impact, primarily body weight, form of exercise that's meant to help you strengthen your core, help you to have better balance and better posture. There are a lot of different types of Pilates. You can do mat Pilates with no equipment or with fun accessories like a small ball, the ring, light weights. You can do Pilates with equipment, whether it's on a reformer, on a tower, the Cadillac, on the chair, on the ladder barrel. There are a ton of different pieces of Pilates equipment, but with any style of Pilates, you're going to see the same foundational movements and you're always going to see the six principles of Pilates with every single movement, every single class that you do. And the six principles of Pilates are breath, centering, control, precision, flow. Why can I never remember the sixth one? Concentration. Like I always know there's three C's and I can never remember them. Centering, control, concentration, precision, flow, and breath. Every single style of Pilates, you should be moving with those six principles in mind. And you should be able to see those six principles in pretty much every single class that you do. Pilates is really good for everybody, I think. Um, whether you're doing like a consistent Pilates practice, like you only do Pilates, or you're adding in Pilates to your existing exercise, Pilates is something that is going to help you like on and off the mat. Now let's switch gears and talk about my own personal experience with Pilates and how I got into it. I started doing Pilates in May of 2018. My first introduction to Pilates was uh, reformer Pilates. My mom took me to a class. Um, I had just been recently diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and I was finding that weightlifting was not working for my joints. It didn't make me feel good. It was getting increasingly more difficult to grip onto weights. My body just didn't, wasn't vibing with the weightlifting. So I got into reformer Pilates. And um, for me, I enjoy doing Pilates because it is low impact and it moves at a little bit of a slower pace. And I feel like that slow pace really is what helps me to better understand what's going on in my body and to better engage my muscles. I feel like that is like the perfect kind of workout for me. It's something that I enjoy and that's why I continue to stick with it. I became a Pilates instructor March of 2019. So I'm almost at three years at this point. Um, I started teaching on the reformer and then I began teaching Matt Pilates virtually at the beginning of last year. So I, my life is all Pilates all the time and I still love it three, almost four years later of um, starting Pilates. Now I do teach Pilates, this is my full-time career. So I am teaching every day and I'm moving my body every day. However, when it comes to my own personal Pilates practice, I aim to uh, like take a class three to four times a week. And I find that that's what's manageable for me and my schedule. And that is something that I can realistically stick to. So that's the routine that works for me. And even right now, I kind of made a goal for myself for the year to do four personal Pilates sessions every week. And I'm really only averaging about three. I just find that's, that is what I have the energy for. So that's, that's what I do, but enough about me. <laughs> Here's how I can help you to start a Pilates routine this year. Hopefully you've gathered by now that I'm a Pilates instructor, right? Hopefully you've done a little bit of meandering on my channel and you've seen a lot of Pilates videos. So you should know, I, I teach Pilates, I do it. So I am very well equipped to help you. Before we even talk about doing the actual Pilates workouts, I want you to grab a notebook, sit down and write down the reason that you want to start doing Pilates. It could be anything. It could be that you just wanna start an exercise routine, that you wanna start Pilates because it's low impact and you've been finding maybe your workouts aren't working for you because you want something that's more beginner friendly. You wanna strengthen your core, you want better posture. It could be anything, literally anything. Take a second, write it down. That is going to be your why. And that is what we're gonna come back to 
every single time you come to your mat to do a Pilates session. You come back to your why. You want it to invoke a positive feeling within you so that you continue to do these Pilates workouts. Next thing, make a plan. How many times a week do you wanna do these Pilates workouts? For most people that are just starting out with Pilates or just starting out with exercise in general, I would recommend starting with two workouts a week. That's something that is pretty manageable for a lot of people. Um, and if you find after maybe four, six weeks that you've been able to maintain that two times a week cadence, then maybe you can add in a little bit. I want you to be realistic with yourself, okay? It's not realistic to say, I'm gonna do a Pilates workout for one hour, seven days a week. It's just, it's not realistic. Third thing I want you to do is if you have a physical planner or you use your phone as a planner, I want you to schedule in the time blocks that you wanna be doing these Pilates workouts. Those who fail to plan, plan to fail, is that it? Those who fail to plan, plan to fail. I don't think that's right, but I want you to make a plan for yourself so that you can stick to it. If paying for Pilates workouts is not in the budget right now, we're going to stick with free workouts and you're in the right spot for that because I post free workouts on YouTube. If you're a complete beginner, I am going to direct you to my beginner Pilates playlist, which I believe is gonna be up in this corner. You think I would know where the cards go? I don't, um, but I'm gonna link it up in the corner, my beginner Pilates playlist. Now, okay, go back to how many times you said you were gonna realistically do a Pilates workout every week. You're gonna to go to that playlist and just pick one, two, maybe three videos to do every week. Those workouts range from about 13 minutes to about 35 minutes. So they're a little bit shorter, really good for people that are just starting out with Pilates and with an exercise routine. You're gonna start there. Once you feel like you've graduated from those beginner Pilates workouts, you're in luck because every single week on my community tab, I create a new weekly workout calendar. I lay out the groundwork for you. Um, I put five workouts in that calendar. However, they range from longer 40 minute workouts to shorter like 10 minute workouts. So you can always pick and choose, but I give you that new calendar every single week for free. Second option, if you feel like you are more likely to stick to your goals when you pay for something, I've got you, <laughs> got you covered. I teach virtual mat Pilates classes. Some of you may know that, some of you may not. That's okay, either way. Um, uh, I teach classes, I have 10 different class times that I teach every single week. To take a class with me, it's $10 for a drop-in. You can take your first class for free. Use the code free when you sign up for your first class. And that's how you'll get your foot in the door with that. And then if you want to really start that Pilates routine, you wanna be consistent with it. I have a monthly Pilates membership. It's $50 every single month. You have unlimited access to live classes, class recordings. We have a community chat and I check in with you about once a week on your goals. So you can tell me, okay, Margaret, I'm, I'm trying to stick to taking classes three times a week. And I will check in with you and make sure that you're doing that. So if you need more of an accountability partner, like you've maybe tried to start a Pilates routine before, but you haven't been successful with it, go this route. The third way that you can start a Pilates routine is by finding a Pilates studio in person. Like if you would like to do um, Pilates with equipment, say on the reformer or on the chair, you wanna do maybe private sessions in person. The place that I would go to look for your local Pilates studios would be Mind Body. Search Pilates, it'll pull up all of the studios in like, you know, in about a 10 mile radius of you. And that will give you a good idea of um, where you can go in studio and where you can start those Pilates classes. I will warn you, that's gonna be the most expensive option of all of these options. But there are a lot of good like in-person Pilates, Pilates studios out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful for you. I hope you learned something and I hope you feel ready to start doing Pilates in the new year. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And remember, you're awesome. You can do absolutely anything that you put your mind to and I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist, girl. You got me drinking love, drinking